In today's video, I'm talking all about the basics of masking in Adobe Premiere Pro, so stick around. So once we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and we have some footage, we can go up to the opacity tab and if we press this circle mask, then as you can see, a circle mask has been created on our footage. So if we just drag these little points over, we can see that we can expand the mask, but we'll get rid of that for now. We'll go over to the rectangle mask and same thing again, a rectangle mask has been created and we can rotate this. We can change all of these different points, create a different shape. But if we want to make our own shape, then we can go into this mask tool and we can draw our own shape. Now this is cool because we can create some interesting patterns. So if we copy this video layer, let's say three times, so we have four of these, we can go through and we can create an interesting mask on each individual layer. So on video layer four, I'm just creating this tall rectangle. Video layer three, I'm gonna move over to the left side of the frame and draw a smaller rectangle. Move down to video layer two, we'll draw another shape in the middle of the frame. And then video layer one, I'm just gonna draw something at the top. And as you can see, it's the same video, but there's loads of these different windows, all of these different masks. And that's because we've been able to draw our own mask onto all of this footage. So as you can see, I can just change the value of all of these. And that's really cool. And the great thing is as well, because all of these are individual videos, if we add levels onto one of these, only one of the masks will be affected. But we'll get rid of all three of those for now. So we'll just keep one video layer and we'll just resize this. So we'll just pull those little markers down. Now the really awesome thing with masking is even though I drew a rectangle to begin with, there were just four points, I can go through and I can select new points within this and I can move these around to create a really interesting effect later on. With these points, you can create really articulate, really precise masks. Or if we pull on this little tab here, we can distort the mask a little bit and we can add some curvature into our lines. So that's really cool. So if we jump over into the menu on the left and we go into Mask Path, we'll toggle the animation so we'll create a brand new keyframe on Mask Path. We'll scroll across, we'll move those mask points over just a little bit. And now as you can see, if we take this back to the very beginning, an animation has been created using those mask points. And this is the basic of keyframe animation with masks. So carrying down after mask path, we have mask feather, and this is basically like a blurring effect. So if we increase the feather to 100%, then the edges of this mask are really blurred and really blended. If you don't wanna use the menu on the left, then you can use this handle on the actual mask itself. Underneath that, we have opacity, and this is very basic. This is just an opacity control. And underneath that, we have mask expansion, and this is basically expanding the mask outside of the parameters of those lines. So you can see that we have this shape, but because we pulled up the mask expansion, it's spilling out from the lines. And the same thing applies for if we pull this down underneath. So we have a negative number, and this goes underneath those mask lines. And the same thing again applies with the keyframe animation. If we create some keyframes through here and change the values, then that's going to animate and that's gonna look really awesome. And now one more really cool feature is this inverted feature and that flips the mask around. So rather than having the footage within the mask, the footage is outside of the mask. This means that if we create a brand new shape layer, so we'll go into new item, new black video, we'll drop the black video underneath the mask and we'll just add a basic tint onto this. So search for tint, drop tint on top of this and we'll just change the black to red. As you can see, because this mask is on the second video layer, we've got this hole and that's looking through to this red video layer underneath. So that's really awesome. And then lastly, like any other footage layer, we can change the blending mode of this mask to anything that we see fit. Masking in Premiere is really simple. It's really easy to understand, but it is extremely powerful and you can create some really interesting effects with this. So take the time to go and experiment and learn how to mask in Adobe Premiere Pro. And that's it. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell icon, and I will see you next time for the next video. Thank you for watching.